Jog the Web is a free Web 2.0 tool that allows users to assemble tidy packages of web content. For teachers, it can be a tool for providing students with easy access to guided learning activities. This tutorial will walk you through the steps of designing your own Jog the Web activity. We'll begin with an overview of a finished project. This job, Jog the Web activity is titled, Let's Explore the Nervous System. Before we take a look at the pages, let's take a look at the whole big picture here. One of the best things about a Jog the Web is that the websites within it are live. They can be explored right within the page frame. This solves problems related to students getting lost by clicking on links or students getting lost because they have multiple windows open. Everything remains within this page frame. Let's take a look at some of the pages themselves within this activity so you can see the type of activity that you're able to build. You'll notice that I click on the link and I come right to the first page. This is actually a movie. I'll turn the sound up for a minute. The movie plays right away. One thing that you should notice though is at the top of the page there are some guiding questions or directions for the students to follow. This is what we'll learn to do today. So you can guide the learning activity right on the page and then the students go ahead and watch the movie and then they move to the next page. My next page is a text article and you can see I've asked them to be able to briefly describe how messages pass through the body. So they're not just looking at the website, they have a real goal when they're there. The following page is a website that I chose because you can listen to it. And this is really nice. The following article is from Kids Health. This is really nice because then kids who are having difficulty reading can have this read to them. The next article takes a little maneuvering and if kids would just come to this website on their own they wouldn't quite know what to do but if they read my directions it tells them to click on the button that says stimulate your brain and when I click on that button you'll see that this is a nice interactive activity um, that gives the students some feedback and if I turn up the volume you'll be able to hear that that's also very nice for the students to be able to see. Um, there's a little quiz. At the end there's a nice interactive quiz here that also provides students with feedback. They answer the questions, it tells them if they get it right or wrong. So it's a really nice guided learning activity. It's time to learn how to build it. So right now we're going to learn how to sign up for a free account on Jog the Web. The first thing you need to do is go to www.jogtheweb.com. You can register for a free account at jogtheweb.com simply by clicking on this register button right here. You'll be asked for some very basic information, your username, your email address, um, and when you submit all of that, don't forget to agree to the terms of use, then go ahead and click submit and you'll receive an email Click on the link in the email to activate your account and you'll be ready to begin. Now since I already have a free account, I'm going to go back and I'll just simply log in by clicking on the login screen. And once you have that account, you simply need to type in your email address and your password to log in. Here I am in my own personal jog area. That's where you come when you log in. Before you logged in, you were in the home section, and that has some featured jogs that you might want to take a look at. You also might want to go to the explore section where you can see some jogs that have already been created. Maybe you'll even find one you want to use. But to build your own, you go to the my jog section. Here you can see that I've created several jogs, and here's my whole list of jogs. This is where I go when I want to edit or use one of them. You'll notice this little avatar right here. <clears throat> That's a symbol that I uploaded, and you can also upload your avatar or your own picture to identify your activities. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and build that Let's Explore the Nervous System jog. 
So we start by clicking the big gray button, Create a New Jog. The first thing you'll be asked to do is type in a title and a description and choose a category. Don't worry too much about this. If your description changes after you build your jog, you can always edit this later. And here you can see I've typed in my title, I've typed in my description, I'm going to choose the category Education, and I'm going to go ahead and Submit. Right away after you click Submit, you're ready to build the pages. You come to the first screen that says Add a new page to your jog. There are only three things you need to do to create your first page. You need to give it a title, you need to copy and paste the web address of the website that you want students to visit here, and then in the page comment section, this is where you can write guided questions or give students directions so they know what to do when they visit the website. So after completing all that information, your title, your copy and pasted web address, <coughs> and your directions or your questions, go ahead and click Save. You've just created your first page. Immediately, you'll be taken to the next screen that says Add a new page to your jog. And you can go ahead and create another page right away by filling out the same information. So here I've plugged in all my information, and the only thing I have left to do is to click Save. Once again, you see I'm ready to create my third page. So it goes pretty quickly as long as you know what you want to put into your jog. Now let me show you how to edit. Let's say I made a mistake on this page. There's a simple edit link here. And when I open it back up, it takes me to the original page I set up. And I can go ahead and make any change I wanted to. Right there, and then just go ahead and save it again. And just to save a little bit of time, <coughs> I've gone ahead and put the rest of my pages in. You can see I have several more pages that I've added in the same manner. And my jog is basically ready for preview. Um, but there's one more thing I need to add I need to add to this. I want to create an introduction to introduce the activity to students or whoever might be looking at it. And that is not available on the internet. So I need to create my own page. And you can also do that within Jog the Web. You'll see here, we've been basically choosing the default, which is create a new page on the internet. But if you want your own content, it's just right here. So when you click that, you'll come to a screen that looks slightly different. Still, you need to give it a page title. But here, you get the choice of choosing a different background. These are cute little pages that you can choose. They basically are a little smaller than a full-size page, but you can go ahead and use them as you please and experiment with them. Just for today's activity, I'm going to be boring and choose blank page because that will give me a full-size blank page. Now when you scroll down below, you'll see a familiar looking text editor. It's got everything you need to be able to put the information in. You can change the size or the font. So here's the information that I want to put on the introduction page. It's sort of small, so I'm going to highlight it, make the font a little bigger because I have a whole page here. Um, and what I think I'd like to do here also is put an image in. Now if I wanted to be daring, I could put a movie in. But for right now, it's, I'm just going to do an image. So I'm going to click on this Link Image button here. And it says it down below if you forget what it looks like. Insert Edit Image. And I come to this box. Now there's something you need to note here. I can't upload an image to Jog the Web. So any image that I use has to already have a location on the World Wide Web. That means if I already have an image, I can right click on it to find out the location of the image and then copy it and paste it right here. And that's what I've done. So there is the link location of my image. I can also go ahead and put a description if, in if I want. I can change the size of it or add a border, but for right now I'm just going to put it in there. So I'll click Insert. There it is. Now, I think I'd like that to be centered, so I click on it and just choose to center it. I could add more information to this page if I want because, again, it's a full-size blank page rather than just the top of a website. I'm going to go ahead and save it. There's one last thing. This is my introduction page, but 
it ended up at the very bottom of my jog, so I need to rearrange the pages. You can rearrange the page in any jog at any time, very simply by using these buttons. If you're already familiar with those, you know that this button takes you all the way to the bottom, and this button takes you all the way to the top, and the middle buttons just move you up one space at a time. Since this is my introduction, I want it all the way to the top. So I'll just click on that button, and it should jump up there. And there it is. Now I think that my Jog the Web is pretty much ready for preview. So I'm going to go ahead and click on I'm done editing, and we can take a look at it. And you'll find yourself back at your personal Jog area, where you can see all of your Jogs. And this is the one I just created. Let's explore the nervous system. So I'm going to click right here to take a look at it. This is where we started, because we've already taken a look at this activity. So we're back to the beginning. If I find I still need to edit it, I want to show you how to do that. Navigation can be a little difficult. Always just find this Jog the Web icon and click on it, and you'll be back to your home page. That's something really important to remember. And then I click on My Jogs. Now there's one last thing I'd like to show you, and that's how to share. It's very simple. When you're back in your personal Jog space, next to the Jog that you want to share, we're done editing there's a share button. So I go ahead and click on it and here I can see the link, just the regular link or the uh, fancy HTML link. And I go ahead and copy that. I can link it anywhere. I can send it in an email and it's all ready to go. So that's how you build a Jog the Web activity. Happy jogging!